In this problem, we're given three figures, and each one represents a different weak acid. The white circles in each figure represent hydrogen ions, and the colored circles represent anions for each of the weak acids. Using these figures, we're asked to rank the three acids from largest value of acid dissociation constant to the smallest value of the dissociation constant. After that, we're asked to indicate, of these three figures, which one of these three acids will be most acidic. Finally, you should include a few sentences to explain how you arrived at your conclusion. In order to answer the first part of this question, we have to remember that the larger the Ka, the more products or the more dissociated ions will have present. So we have to look at these three figures and determine which of these figures has the most ionized or dissociated weak acids? In other words, which one has the most hydrogen ions and anions present? When we compare these figures, the first one has one dissociated weak acid and five molecules that are undissociated. The second image has four dissociated ions, in other words, four anions that have been dissociated and four hydrogen ions that have been dissociated. And it has two molecules that have not dissociated. The third picture has two hydrogen ions and two anions that have ionized. And it has four weak acid molecules that are unionized. Since the second picture has the fewest undissociated molecules, that will be the strongest acid since it has more of the hydrogen ions and anions present. The first picture with the most undissociated weak acid molecules will be the weakest acid. Since it's the weakest acid, it will also have the smallest value for the acid ionization constant. The second image will have the largest acid ionization constant since it has more products, ions, and fewer reactants or weak acid molecules that are undissociated. 